I'm talking about Streets of Fire from 1984. Firing off like a keg of dynamite with an 18-year-old Diane Lane taking the stage as the bolt of lightning touching off this bombastic crime neo-noir. Rocket ship of rock and roll that is a mashup of Escape from New York to Mad Max, with hero Tom Cody coming back to town with that John Wayne swagger, causing this film to influence a whole host of anime from that era. This rock and roll fable from another time and place has Ellen Aim, played by Lane, the lead singer of her band, The Attackers, who tears across the stage, owning it like no other. And the truest transformation from her earlier performance in Ladies and Gentlemen, The Fabulous Stains, from just three years earlier. Her manager and new beau, Billy Fish, played by Rick Moranis. Where do you get off talking to her like that? She's way out of your league, musclehead. Who's not a fan of this part of town. Oh, knock off the crap, will you? As far as I'm concerned, anybody that goes into the battery and does some damage deserves a medal. Suddenly loses his money maker when she's snatched up by Raven. Wonderfully etched in from the shadows, Willem Dafoe's gaunt, gothic, vibe permeates through the film like a mythical figure. I'll be coming for her. And I'll be coming for you too. Reva, who's not just a fan, caught up in the melee, has close ties with Ellen. Look, Tom, you were always real close with Ellen. She wasn't like all those tramps used to run around with. Oh, Reva, it didn't work out, okay? Once free of the bomber's biker gang, she sends a telegram to her brother, Tom Cody. Arriving as if time has stood still, Michael Paré plays a chiseled jaw, low-toned. I like shooting the guns, but I didn't win no medal. Tough guy that Walter Hill created with an idea of his own original comic book character. Prior to release of the film, which ended as a financial disaster, there was talk about a trilogy. Cody and Reva eventually starred in Road to Hell from 2008, an unofficial sequel. With a gang of greasers late to the party show up to harass Reva, they're met with a bitch-slapping session. Try it again, punk. While Cody poaches their ride, taking this cherry for a spin on the way home, he bumps into an old friend. Tom Cody. It's been a couple of years since I've had any trouble out of you. With Reva putting it on thick to go after Ellen. You want me to go rescue an old girlfriend who shacked up with another guy? Thanks a lot. Our somber hero hits the bar for a late night eye opener. Hey, Tom, Tom Cody. It's been a long time, pal. How's your hammer hanging? How's it going, Clyde? Bill Paxson as Clyde is the MVP of lovable goofballs in this. You know, everywhere I go, there's always an asshole. Amy Madigan, whose strong will bravado was originally written for a male character. He said, look, I like the part of Mendez, and I want to play that part, and I think it would be a real good idea to have a woman play the sidekick. Part of being a director is grabbing a good idea when you hear it. And she, she turned out to be terrific in the film. Meeting Billy Fish at the diner, Cody pitches to rescue Ellen for 10K. Easy. All you gotta do is earn it. On the condition, Fish is on the hook to show him where Raven's Club Torchies is. McCoy signs up for 10%. But get this, you're working for me. Our trio slinks in behind enemy lines, as his motorheads taken out one after another by Cody. As McCoy schmoozes her way into ruining the nightly poker game, I don't think she's after the money. Cody snatches the purse. With Fish arriving on schedule, all jettison except for Cody who decides to cash in, opening a can of whoop ass. Now face to face with Raven. Looks like I finally ran into someone that likes to play as rough as I do. Yeah, this must be your lucky night. Ditching the hot ride as they commandeer a bus owned by the doo-wop group known as the Sorrells. Hitting a police roadblock. All right, now this is how we're gonna play it. Taken down by Cody and McCoy. Abandoning the bus, everyone is hoofing it from here. Raven's looking to take his revenge out on Cody. 
I'm coming in with just two of my men. As Ellen fires up one last spark only to be snuffed out. No, it ain't gonna work out. Ellen and I are going in different directions. Nobody's fault. Not by choice, she plays into the hands of McCoy. You get as far from here as you can. Raven calls upon his flock in one of the most iconic images. Outgunned and outmanned, Cody shows up not a moment too soon. Well, my plan with this shit. Let's see how you do. With feathers plucked, Raven is taken back to his perch, following a rise up from the neighborhood. The Sorrells open for Ellen as energy crescendos into what legends become. So, if you're looking for a true teleportation and escape into a world created by one director's true vision, keep your hands off the suit, buddy. Then this Ayatollah of rock and roller is for you. Until next time. Yeah. Thank you to our YouTube members and everyone out there for your continued support. And hail Cthulhu!